Hello chemistry fans and welcome back to chemistry problem solving set here in the Academic Success Center on Broward College North Campus. My name is Dr. Russell Betts and I will be leading you through this problem today. Describe the difference between competitive and non-competitive enzyme inhibition. All right. Well, first of all, let me just say a few, a few things about uh, enzymes. When an enzyme works, there is a location on the enzyme called the active site. Now, if you want it to, you can think of an enzyme as this globular thing that we've just drawn there. And the substrate, so this is the enzyme, And this, we'll draw it in a different color, how about red? This we'll make as the substrate. Okay, it's a little triangle looking thing. Just humor me a little bit. So what happens when the substrate, now the substrate is that on which the enzyme will react. So it's the thing that's gonna be reacted upon. These two things meet and they'll form what's known as the enzyme substrate complex. And let me see if I can, well, you'll have to forgive my terrible artwork, but humor me. And now the enzyme has somehow docked to the substrate. So now we have the enzyme substrate complex, known as the ES. That has to occur. So basically, Basically, the substrate has docked into the active site somehow, and now it is sitting inside the active site. I know it looks terrible, but try to humor me a little bit. So the, this has gone directly into the active site. The enzyme has docked with it. If you're a science fiction fan, think of it as the TIE fighters landing in the Star Destroyer in Star Wars or something like that. They've just docked and they've made some kind of complex. Now this can have chemistry done to it. Now, a competitive inhibitor competes for the active site. binds to the active site. So a competitive inhibitor will get right into the active site and will block the substrate. It, in essence, competes with the substrate for the active site. Okay? So that's what a competitive inhibitor will do. It will compete with the substrate for the active site. Basically, the inhibitor will sit inside the active site and taunt the substrate. Na 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 na, you can't dock here, kind of thing. Blocks it. Now, a non competitive does not bind to the atrocyte. does not bind to the exocyte, but it does bond to the enzyme or somehow interact with the enzyme. For example, it could dock somewhere on the far side of the enzyme. It could dock over here on this side of the enzyme. That will kind of mess up the enzyme's ability to move. So imagine, if you will, you are the enzyme and you're holding a hammer in your right hand and your hammer will fall on exactly the same location. Let me, try. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this with the camera here. I kind of look weird. Whoa, it's coming at you. Whoa, it's coming. Just kidding. So imagine you're just hammering away at a nail. Okay? And you're good, you're good. Now, if somebody blocks the nail, then you won't be able to hit it. That's competitive inhibition. Non competitive is you're going along, you're hammering nails, and all of a sudden, a muscle pulls in your back. 
can hardly move your hand now. So that's non-competitive. Nothing's gotten in the way of the substrate. It's the nail still in front of you. You just are in a lot of pain now and can't hit it. That's non-competitive inhibition. Oh. Got it? So a competitive inhibition, the inhibitor will bind directly to the active site. A non-competitive inhibitor will bind somewhere else, but will mess up the structure of the enzyme and not allow it to react with the substrate. Okay? All right. If you still don't quite get it, go ahead and call for a tutor or come and see your professor during office hours or just read the book. It's all in the book. It's all spelled out very clearly. Uh, but don't sit back on this. Make sure you get it straight so that when you come time for an exam, you'll have no problem getting 100. All right. And with that, I'd like to wish you good luck and good chemistry.